Redlands, a beautiful place hidden in plain view. Home to one of the most heartiest and unembellished parts of any ecosystem. Found along the coastline of the Redlands, growing in different colours and sizes, mangroves play an essential role to the development of the Redland Shire ecosystem. The grey mangrove is the most widespread species of mangrove found in Australia and is commonly found in Queensland. These specific mangroves grow in intertidal zones where the conditions range from soft mud to sandy soils. This is what makes the Redlands seem like paradise to the grey mangrove. Conditions are optimum and Wellington Point is just one of the many homes to these majestic ecological miracles. Grey mangroves generally grow to a maximum height of 25 metres, but anything between 10 and 15 is considered normal. They are distinguishable by their trunks that are covered by light grey bark that supports the crown of the green glossy leaves. Stomata and salt glands are scattered on the underside of the leaf and flowers are yellow and small. Reproduction is difficult for any species of mangrove as they are prone to shifting mud and eroding shorelines. Mangroves begin their life as pods on the parent tree. They either drop into the ocean, becoming swept away in the ominous sea of blue until they reach a shoreline, or they are dropped into the muddy banks where they are lodged predominantly for the rest of their lives. Flowering for the grey mangrove occurs mainly in the heat of mid to late summer. Pale green yellowish fruits are usually 3 cm long and 2 cm wide and have a hairy laid coat to protect the seed. The grey mangrove is considered a pioneer species and is tolerant to saline conditions as it declines the intake of salt at the base of its roots. The roots are a distinctive function of the mangrove as they provide a structural support system for the tree. These particular mangroves can also deal with salt via the force present on the underside of their leaves. These mangroves are considered extremely adaptable as they can not only withstand the saltiest of conditions, but also survive short periods of inundation by freshwater sources. Sadly, degradation and destruction of the grey mangrove has become present in the Redland community due to both direct and indirect threats. Mangroves are susceptible to clearing due to demand for land uses and due to the perception that they are home to breeding pests. Indirect threats include alterations in the catchment areas due to freshwater flows, which cause the salinity level to become too high or too low for mangroves to successfully live. Upstream erosion can cause extra sediment to build up at the base of the mangrove roots, causing them to suffocate, and trampling by humans also causes mangroves to sink and thus suffocate. It is important to protect these magnificent creations as they provide refuge for juvenile fish species and protect the coastline of the Redland Shire. Without them, there would be an increased risk of acid sulfate soils, accelerated erosion, loss of habitats, flooding and poor water quality. As alien looking as they are, they are part of an ecosystem and most importantly, a part of the Redland community.